This past week, I've been going through the process of replacing the front crank seal on my 1983 240D. This is not the easiest job, by the way, but it is one of the more common leak areas in these old Mercedes diesels. So if you're gonna own one of these, this is maybe something you're gonna have to deal with. Over the past few years, every single one of these diesels I see come by in my shop where I look at have evidence of leaking around that front crank seal. It has to do with the age of the seal as well as the high internal combustion pressures that build up in these diesel engines. You have even the slightest wear or deterioration of any seal, any gasket, that crankcase pressure just forces the oil out. And so is the case with the front there. So what I want to do now is show you some of the things I've come up with. I'm going to make some modifications to my kit. I'm going to improve the kit. And I was also able to come up with a less expensive puller to pull that seal race off the front of the crank. Let me show you in a little more detail what I've been up to. Begin this job by removing the radiator, the shroud, the fan. That's fairly straightforward. Make sure you drain all the coolant into a nice container. You're going to have to remove uh, the pulleys down here and all the belts from the alternator power steering and AC. And at that point, the fun begins. It's going to require uh, some special tools and a little more effort and a little more care. You're going to start out with having to remove this counterbalance pulley. And the only way you can get this off is with a puller. It's not an expensive puller, but most people don't have the puller that you see here. Uh, we do carry it on my website. If you don't have one, you can also rent these type of pullers from different tool rental places. Then the next thing you're gonna to need to do is pull off this old seal. Look at the condition of this old seal here. Pretty obvious when you look closely at the seal and all the area below the seal that this has been leaking gradually for a long time. That's typical of how these seals leak. When they finally let go, you'll find big puddles under your engine right in the front here, on your driveway in your garage. To get this seal off, you're going to need a seal removal tool which looks like this. You come in and use this to pry the seal out. This is really the best way to get that seal out. And then by far the biggest challenge is going to get the seal race off the end of the crank so that you can put a new race on. Now there is a special tool. You can take a look at it here. It's well over $150 to buy this tool and uh, it's so slick it works so easy to clamp that race and just pull it right off the problem is most people don't want to spend 160 dollars 170 dollars for a one-time use tool so i decided to go to work and come up with a puller that could be used it wasn't so expensive less than half the cost of that it is more effort as you can see here, but it does work. It does get this race off. Of course, putting the race back on is easy. You just put it in an oven and heat it up and it slides right on. And once you get the race back on, you want to come in here and thoroughly clean the surfaces of the block and the pan where the new seal is going to go on. And then you have to prep that seal and be very careful to install it properly. Let me show you some of the modifications I've made on my new kit to help you get that seal on right the first time. Here are the contents of my new front crank seal replacement kit developed in late 2020. I made some major changes to this kit and I'll explain why here shortly. But you're going to get a new seal race, a new factory OE, we don't use aftermarket seals. I'm going to include some red permanent thread locker. That's to reinstall the crank bolt after you install the new seal. I'm going to include some sealant, some special sealant. You'll put a light coat around the outside of the seal. Now, you don't need to use sealant here if you have a perfect surface. So you clean this, and if there's no pitting, uh, no marks or anything, you can install the seal dry without sealant. This is kind of a little extra insurance so it won't leak around this outer rim. And then these are the parts that are going to help you press the seal on. You do not want to hammer the seal on. 
you do not want to get some big socket and try to bang away on it because what will happen is this lip on the seal will come down against the race and if it's not perfectly lined up it's going to roll the seal <laughs> so you don't think that happens we've been getting reports of this happening more and more so one of the reasons for this new kit is to come up with a way that you can install the seal and make sure it goes down and seats properly without rolling this lip back on you let me show you a good example let me show you what I mean when you try to push or just tap the seal on without taking precautions the lip can roll back on you and this is going to leak like a sieve so you really do need to take precautions because if this happens you got to pull the seal out you destroy the seal and have to purchase another one and do it all over again so I think from that you can see how frustrated the person would be installing that seal to push it in there. You always want to check, by the way, when you're done to make sure that doesn't happen. Don't just bolt everything back up and think that your seal's fine. But can you imagine the frustration? It's got to do it all over again. Got to pry that seal out, order a new seal, wait to get the new seal. You know, I wanted to solve the problem of getting this race off the front of the crankshaft without having to spend $150, $60 for the factory tool. And I've already done a video on that, but I also wanted to solve this problem of rolling the seal back during installation. So these parts that you see here are for the purpose of installing the seal slowly, not banging on it, and then using this as a guide to make sure that lip goes over this sealing race perfectly. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, well, if you oil it up good enough, it should go on the race, right? Well, let's go down here and try to push this on. <laughs> See, it's still not going on. So now we have the guide tool in place. Now, I don't even need to use a tool. I can just push this in by hand. Of course, you can't do that when you're trying to also seat this outer surface of the seal into the block. But this is going to give you an example of how this guide tool works to get the lip on over the race without rolling it back. So just kind of push that all the way down until it seats, and then we'll just push this on. Look at that. And then you pull this off, and look at that. See that? Pretty slick, huh? I tell you, after all the seals I've replaced over the years, this one right here in this 83 240D is the easiest one I have ever installed. All right, now we're going to remove the seal guide tool and the big washer. Look at that. Perfect, absolutely perfect. And all the information on how to do this, how to install it and install it successfully will be included in a video instruction along with these components that you see right here.